adjustable rate mortgages or arm loans. You're hearing a lot more about these lately. We're gonna take a look at the structure of an arm loan and the pros and cons, the benefits and the element of risk. I'm Craig Power with Power Realty Advisors, serving Greater Boston and the South Shore. So your regular 30-year fixed versus an arm loan, what's the difference? Well, when you hear 30-year fixed interest rate, that's your rate for 30 years. It doesn't change. Um, it's, it's fixed. Brilliant explanation. Craig, we're off to a great start. No, but that's just it. Your payment stays the same for 30 years, you know, s setting aside taxes and insurance, which, which are subject to change, but you got that rate and it's never going to change over the life of the loan. The idea of an adjustable rate mortgage is it's still a 30 year loan, but it's broken into two different loan periods. First, you get the teaser rate, which is a lower rate for a set amount of time. Uh, that's the big incentive. And then you get the adjusted rate which typically adjusts annually, maybe every six months, we can get into that. So the teaser rate could last three, five, seven, 10 years, and then when that expires, your rate gets adjusted annually to those market conditions in the future. Clearly the main benefit here is the teaser rate. Today I have clients getting quoted roughly five and a half to 5.75% on a 30 year fixed rate, and then the adjustable rates they're being offered are like 4% over seven years that's significant. It's, it's a much lower payment right away. And your appetite for taking on the risk may depend on the difference. If your adjustable rate was only half a percentage point lower, plus you add in any extra fees, you wouldn't see the same benefit, right? If the difference is very narrow like that, usually people would prefer the stability of the fixed rate. And so you fully understand the risk part of it. When you get into the adjustment period, the arm loans I'm seeing and I guess this could be different elsewhere. I, I am a real estate agent, not a mortgage broker, so you're getting my firsthand explanation. Um, but it's not one adjustment for the next 20 to 25 years, right? They adjust annually. Every 12 months, your payment adjusts in line with a market index rate. So you know your future rate, you'll at least know the factors it's based on. Um, there are usually caps on increases, so it can only go up so much in a single year, or it can only go up so much ever. There are some moving parts. You might have one where the terms are, it adjusts every six months or every five years. Um, there's a wide range of options. And this is why it matters, right? When rates are on the way up, the way they are today, they're increasing, you know, this is when adjustable rate mortgages become more popular because the spread, the difference between the two loan products becomes wider. Um, experts are saying, and I agree, you know, I, I'm, I'm seeing this more and more. This is going to be a trend for the next year, and a huge percentage of new mortgage business is going to be these arm loans. Now, what's my opinion? What am I recommending to my clients? Uh, arm loans have a negative association with the housing crash. That's just a fact. You know, 2008, mortgage lending was much looser in the mid 2000s, and the way the story goes, a lot of consumers were not prepared for the risk they took on, not adequately prepared. Uh, many arm loan buyers were not qualified to get those loans by today's standard. Uh, they were way over leveraged. And when the adjustment period hit, stuff really started to hit the fan. With that being said, if I were a buyer today, I'd give strong consideration to seven to 10 year arms. You know my perspective. Uh, I've said it here on our YouTube channel. I am bullish on home ownership, right? Property ownership. I'm not a market crash guy. I actually see the opposite problem where a lot of younger people and future generations are going to be locked out of the market, you know, locked out of home ownership. You know, the American dream will not be as available to them. So that's the lens I'm seeing things through. And that's fully acknowledging the risk that you know, we can't guarantee you'll have really good opportunities to refinance. We don't know what the future holds. We can't guarantee rates aren't 16% in 10 years. I, I don't know. Um, but I definitely do see it as a creative solution to make you a homeowner. Thanks for watching. And by the way, everything we're talking about here is making a case that you need to work with a good and detailed mortgage lender and a financially responsible real estate agent. We've created a great referral network no matter where you are in the country. If you wanna be connected with a reputable agent or mortgage lender, go ahead and contact me at craig at powerrealtyboston.com and we can get that conversation started. And of course, if you're in Massachusetts, we're gonna dig in a little deeper because that's where I work. So I would love to help you in any way I can. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and have a great day.